Hello guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I will have a pleasure of presenting to you the unboxing movie for Tarava 1943 from Washington Publishing. Hopefully I pronounce it correctly. Uh, this is a game which I freshly received just yesterday. A solitary game uh, about the Battle of Tarava in 1943. I like to play the historical board games with proper context. So before going into the box contents, uh, let me provide a couple of words of background and introduction. The Battle of Tarawa was a battle in the Pacific Ocean, of course, during World War II. It was fought in November 1943. It took place at Tarawa Atoll, mainly on the Betio Island. Uh, it was in the extreme southwest part of this Tarawa Atoll. Uh, it was a very important battle. Uh, this was the first American offensive in the critical center Pacific region. It was also first time in this theater that the United States have, had faced serious Japanese opposition. It was really serious opposition. Previous landings met little or no initial resistance, but on Tarawa, it, there was like 5,000 Japanese soldiers, defenders, and also Korean workers. They were well supplied, well prepared, and they fought almost to the last man. Only very few were taken um, prisoners. And it put a really heavy toll on United States Marine Corps. If you read the leaflet about the uh, battle, you will see that the casualty rate around 26%, enormous 26%, is one of the highest inflicted on the Marines ever. Just a comparison, during the D-Day landings, the casualty rate on the American forces was around 10%. So you can see that it was two and a half times more. After this historical background, let us have a look into the box of this solitary game. It's not a huge box, it's pretty compact. First of all, we have a, note, a notepad for recording the results of our games. You can see uh, here your battalions and uh, where they finish and in what state. This game contains blocks and we will be stickering the blocks. And you know me guys, I love stickering of the blocks because I have all commands and colors, ancient games and also tons of others. So I'm not afraid. And to be quite honest, stickering of such amount of, of, of uh, stickers is not a huge deal. Here we have uh, the primary stickers, standard stickers. Here we have, uh, let's say, alternative stickers and also some spares. Pretty nicely done, colorful, beautiful. Then we have a rule book. It's not overly thick, like 12 pages. Nicely written with some examples and all the rules. What I like is at the end of the rule book, you have uh, the rules to key things to remember yeah? when, when you play. So you have um, here, uh, you have also game setup and turn example, which I hope to record maybe someday. So this is it. Then we have Yes, battle manual. The battle manual, on one hand, it's kind of a playbook, yeah, uh, you can call it. It goes through the most important cards in the game because the game will be driven by cards. But except the cards, some of the cards being described, you have also a Tarava's uh, situation. So, how the battle went, pretty nicely described here. One thing which I lack. Like in this historical background, and you probably agree with me, is lack of maps. I would really love to see more maps in this historical background section. Now, let's have a look at the map. Let me put it aside for a moment. Okay. Here is the map. When you play, you sit here yeah, at this side and you land from the north and from the west. You have first waves here, 
when you have second wave. You can play alternative scenario. Here is a space for the marine cards and discards, Japanese cards and discards. Here is the part when you track the cohesion of the troops. Also the reference for the rolls because you will be rolling dice during the uh, US Marine Corps attack and also during Japanese attack and Banzai attack. This will be of course different. There will be infiltration attempts by Japanese forces. You will be marking them here. And also uh, you could destroy communication or kill Admiral uh, who was um, leading the Japanese troops here. Uh, I will do the how to play video later on when I read through the rules, but it's pretty obvious how the attack should go. The arrows show this clearly. Now, the last part of the box is with this tray. I would not call it counter tray, it's, it's a huge deep tray. So what do we have here? First of all, we have dice. Using for the roles both Germans, eh, sorry, both Japanese and American. Then we have the block, which is for the marine salt. Small, beautiful, which just fit perfectly here. Then we have Japanese. Block. Imperial Japanese Army one. There are some spares, which is good. So here we'll have a position which is defended by Japanese. On top of this, uh, we would have some additional markers. The yellow ones, if I remember correctly, are the infiltration ones. Those will be bunkers, and at the beginning, each Japanese position will have a bunker. Those are some additional ones just to mark, for example, this communication or uh, uh, admiral being killed. Yeah, both those things. We have some bugs and we have very important part of the game. So the cards. Let me just open them for you. So here we have the cards, the Japanese cards, the US Marine Corps cards. There's like 30 of each. And what the card consists, first of all, you have a picture, you have a name of a card, you have um, the exact event description, some historical background, and also when you can play it. Should be similar, should be similar for, for Japanese, yeah? You have picture, you have uh, the name, exactly what happened, the background, and when it's being played. Each turn, we'll be playing one action, with uh, US troops and we can su supply this action with a card and then one action with uh, Japanese troops. What is interesting that there is no reshuffle in this game. If we go to the end of the deck of a US Marine Corps deck, we lose. Simple like this, we lose. So we need to be careful when we play and when we do not play <laughs> the cards. In order to win, you need to occupy all the positions, if I remember correctly, reading on the internet. And we'll have, of course, victory points and to see uh, what the victory we scored for occupying the positions, for hits to other units, and so on and so forth. Okay, I think that will be all. This game looks very good, beautiful components, is very nicely designed. I can't wait to start playing it. Actually, uh, most probably after this video, I will just sit down, do the stickering and then start playing. Uh, I will provide more content, definitely some example of play, maybe some strategies and maybe rules explanation. Uh, the game seems really, really interesting. And from what I read on the internet, for example, from the player's blog, eight, uh, block uh, it's pretty pretty difficult and that's what we would like to have from the solitary game thank you very much for today for being with me this short video please if you like it give a thumbs up if you'd like to see more such content please subscribe thank you and bye for today